CB the Tool Addict, coming back at you. Yes, this is my favorite. Um, I don't know. It's it's. I like. I don't know. I like the Mac Tool Halls because I just like seeing my dealer. He's a good guy. He's an awesome guy, and I think that makes it more. You know, uh, it makes it better for me. So I get excited when I get to show what I got from him. You know, um, I don't. I don't have everything Mac, obviously, but. Uh, you know, I do like showing you guys Mac tool hauls, and I feel like, you know, I'm I'm bringing the heat when it comes to showing you tool hauls and bringing you the the real deal. You know what I mean? So, and don't you worry, we're gonna have another tool truck tour here real soon. And guess what else? That's right, the box is here. Uh, it's not gonna be on this video, but the new toolbox is here. So we're just going Mac crazy. And uh, not only that, if you guys have noticed. That's right, the videos are flowing. I have been making videos like crazy. And uh, by the time you guys see this, I hope, I hope, I don't know which one you've seen by this time because I have literally pounded out so many videos. I've been working hard, look at my, my hair's a mess, my hands are a mess, look at that. Uh, got that flipper car done. Uh, we are, we are just kicking it right in the butt. You know what I mean, yeah! That's right, we're not giving up, we're going hard. We're going hard and uh, I'm, I'm excited, I'm pumped. I'm pumped, uh, you know, I'm uh, working on doing some weight loss, I'm feeling good about that and uh, that's awesome, you know. Um, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just living life for a living right now, you know what I mean? Living life for a living. And uh, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. So anyways guys, I know that you've, I, you know, I gotta tell you guys, I gotta tell you, come on man. Come in here real close. You guys are the best subscribers on YouTube. I don't care what anybody says. You guys are the best. That's right. You are. You are the best. That's right. I know it. I know it. I've seen subscribers around. And you, my subscribers are the best. Hands down. You guys are just awesome. Uh, and I can't wait to, for live streams on Friday. I got this allergy thing under control now. Finally got some meds, and I was, that's what's really helped out. I think uh, I was really not getting any sleep. I was bogged down there for a couple days. So, anyways, you know how it goes. Anyways, let's go, go on. I got a big one for you. So, we're going to start out small. We're going to work our way up. Um, got another quarter inch ratchet locking flex head. <laughs> I know you're like, CP, you already, you already bought one. Why do you need two? Well, you know, I liked it so much. Actually, I had her, I had her under the, Jesus, I had it under the, had it under the knife today. She was, she was getting worked. So, uh, yeah, we had to, uh, we had to get her under. I'll tell you what, man, I really dig the ratchet. Quarter inch, it's, it's the bomb diggity. So what I got, this, I'll tell you in a minute what I got this ratchet for, so. Obviously, we got that ratchet, you know, you're like, well, we already seen that CP. Are you going to start redoing tool halls? No, I'm not going to start redoing tool halls. Okay, there's a, there's a method to my mayhem. There's a method to my mayhem. Uh, we got some, we're, getting, we're getting the box filled up here, switching some stuff around. Now that the new toolbox is here, but this is the real deal that I got here. Are you guys ready? Made in the USA. Yeah. Um, let me get the, I should have got the tape measure. I have the tape measure in here. I believe this is 18 inches. Let's check this out. We're going to do a little ratchet comparison. I should have brought the damn like the, I don't care, you know what? You guys, it ain't like you had a bad view. You have to look at the old uh, toolbox, you know. Uh, so, let's, let's give a, this, I think this is 18 inches long. This is a long donger right here. Yes, 18 inches. Look at that. That's more metal than most of you have ever had in your hand at one time. I'm just kidding. Let's, let's compare that. So I got the old snap on. And let's see here. Where is that? Where is that big fella at? So we got the snap on. Non-locking. -locking. The snap on's a little bit longer. But it's non-locking. So that's all right. That's all right, snap-on's a little bit longer. The snap-on must be about 19 inches long. Let's see what that is. I like the snap-on one, don't get me wrong. But uh, 
A lot of it's all handled down here too, you know. That's what she said, right? Snap-on is 19 and a quarter inches long. So, uh, you know, who doesn't need a long 3 8 ratchet? Uh, I probably didn't need this one, but this one isn't mine. And you're like, what? What? That ain't yours. Yeah, I bought it. But uh, just check, check that bad boy out. Just get a good look at that, eyeball that. Um, I, I dig the handle. I, I like the flat locking flex so much on these, these guys. I'm, I'm really getting used to these. I'll tell you what, definitely, definitely second best locking flex head on the market, if not first for me. Um, it's not because I like Mac, and I know there's going to be Matco fanboys out there that are just going to lose their mind, like, oh no, Matco's the best. And, that, and that's fine, and that's fine. That's your opinion, and this is my opinion. So that's cool. That's, you know, it's an opinion. Not proven, it's an opinion. <laughs> so uh, we, just, we just get that out there. I know we're all tool junkies. We're all the tool junkies. But we got a lot of opinions because we all lack of tools, you know. And I get that. That's cool, you know. That's why I like to share it. Look at this. This, this box ain't all... There, if there's one person on here that, that tries a little bit of everything, this guy right here. I am not scared. So, anyways, um, get this sticker off here. I don't know why they put that sticker on there. Uh, this is definitely sweet. Uh, it's very sweet. I like it. Um, you know, just an awesome ratchet. 18 inches long, like I said. Um, I just, after using this quarter inch for a couple days... Um, and, I, and I, I'm digging the flex. I'm digging the locking flex because here's the, here's the reason, guys. And I'm just going to give you my opinion and my reason why I like this locking flex. I was skeptical of it at first because I couldn't, it, I couldn't have it unlocked. But most of the time, I find myself, whenever I'm using the mat corner, that I'm always locking it anyways. And, and basically, it's pointless to have it unlocked. So what I like about this one is, is the speed. The speed that this thing allows you to flex into is so nice because it's just one button, push, flex. And that's just my opinion and why I would say that this is, this is a top contender as the best flex or locking flex head ratchet on the market. So I just, I have an open mind about everything, guys. I love the Matco ratchet. I've had it for years um, and I've used the, the crap out of it. But I found that if I'm going to lock it, and I go to unlock it, and if I'm getting in a position where I want it to unlock, I have to reach down there, flip the switch, find the position, because it gets locked in between. See that? You have to find the position. You gotta get it to slide into the right position to lock it. You can get messed up in between, you know? So anyways, that's my rant on that. I know it's not a rant, whatever. I was skeptical about the Max for a long time, why I did, why I didn't like them, but now, I'm starting to see after using it. See, that's the deal with using tools, guys. Once you use them, you start to you start to see a little bit of different light to it. You know, you reach down, pop, flex it. So, anyways, long story short, I'm rambling on here and I'm getting dug into this deep. But uh, this isn't my ratchet. There, I have a new subscriber, Open Wrench, um, super awesome guy. He asked me to buy them for him and ship them, and he would pay me. And actually, he's already paid me for these ratchets. So I bought, I bought two of them. Well, of course, the Matt guy didn't have another 3 eighths, So I had to order one for myself. So I did order one for myself. And I would, but I ordered him a quarter and, and a 3 eighths. And I'm more than happy to do that for anybody. If you don't have a dealer and you can't get a dealer, um, you know, I will buy it through my account. That's totally legit. So anyways, that's that. And then the... Let's get this put up there so I don't lose it. And then I got these. The SS6E. I really had been eyeballing these guys. And I know a lot of you are going to probably be like, oh, the band pliers and blah, blah, blah. You know? Um, and I get it. But I looked at the band pliers and, uh, or the band pliers scissors. And I, I really, for an electrician guy, I'm, I'm always looking for the edge for anything electrical. And uh, I don't think anybody, you can't get these from anybody. These are basically electrician's pliers. Nice little sheath. Dig that. Um, that's nice. 
And I'm gonna try these out. So these things got a nice big cable cutter on them. Um, get these in the right hand here. Nice big cable cutter, they're kind of uncomfortable. Probably more, more of something you're gonna use it like this. But they also got a wire stripper on them right there. So I was really interested in that, I dug that. So if I'm doing something, I'm trying to cut a big, big ot cable or something like that, and I need to strip a wire, I got these right there. So I think these are exclusive to Mac Tools. And uh, I don't know, they're not USA made and it is what it is. You know, I'd rather have Japanese steel on something like this anyways, but uh, SS6E, that's the part number on these. The last and the best thing, the best, I always save the best for last, guys. I always save the best for last. The last and the best thing is, you know, I got a new toolbox, obviously, but it's not here yet. So the last and the best thing is my brand new, um, Brand new chair that I got. Um, this is, I don't know what the part number is on this. Uh, Max Tool. <laughs> Max Tool, I don't know what it is. Max Tool, but anyways, it's super nice, super comfortable. Nice huge pad. Uh, the tray, I didn't, I didn't get, I opted out for the one that, this, they, had, they had a fancier one with the center tray moved out, but uh, it's, uh, it's awesome. Going around, this is perfect for making vids. In and out of it quick. Roll up to the computer. Cause, you know, scoot around the shop, whatever I need to do. Definitely was digging this thing. Um, let's take another quick look at it. It's just a nice little scoop. Whoops, dropped the microphone. Let me see if I can get the camera. Yeah, just a nice little stool, guys. It's just awesome. Look at it. Double built really well, well built. Now I think Mac rebrands these from the same company that Carlisle builds them, and a lot of people do. And I actually looked, and the, the deal I got on this was better than I could get from anybody. So that's why I got the Mac one, anyways. Otherwise, I would have probably went with somebody else. But I am totally satisfied with it. Totally happy, and uh, I've been using it for a couple days, and I'm digging it. So. Nonetheless, guys, let me get this thing set back up here. Uh, that's my Mac tool. We got the new Mac flyer, and uh, we're gonna get that out there before anybody else. As usual, thank you, Mac tools. Uh, that's the that's the perks of being a good Mac tool buyer. Um, and guys, if you don't have a distributor, Mac tools distributor. Um, you know, there, they don't, there's not as many Mac Tools distributors around or whatnot. It's, it's not because Mac Tools doesn't want to sell to you. So I, don't, I, don't, I hope you guys don't get uh, upset. I've seen some comments about it, and I really am like, eh, you know. I mean, just like I never had a Cornwell dealer for 20 years. That's how the tool business works, guys. It's all dependent on franchisees. So if you're sitting there and you're wanting a career change and you want to become a Mac Tools distributor, and this is a shameless plug, once again, Mac Tools, not a sponsor. I pay for all my Mac Tools 100% out of my pocket. I just like helping out the tool trucks. I help out Cornwell, I help out Snavon, I help out Maco whenever they show up. Um, I haven't seen a Matco guy in two months, so um, I was doing good with Matco for a year and then this COVID hit. So nonetheless, guys, that's my spiel. Sorry if you, hopefully at the end there, it didn't get too, too negative feeling, but I just want to let you know about Mac, and we will be doing a little bit more RBRT stuff hopefully soon. Um, I fought, had a lot of questions on RBRT stuff. I think there's people getting some bad information out there about those. Um, you know, there's they're great sockets. I think that <laughs> they're not an extractor socket. I just want to put that out there. A lot of guys think that RBRT bits are extractor sockets. They have extractor bits. And, they, and then all the rest of them are modified. These are extractors. These are an extractor, okay? And that's what they're made for, is extracting. The other bits, the Torx, the Allens, the Hexes, those are meant to be used first and always. They grip the fasteners better. So hopefully you guys know that and understand that. Otherwise, because uh, I, I had a guy that said, sent me questions, he says, 
I bought some RBRT bits, dude, and they were they were they were terrible. I had a bolt that was stripped out, and I put in the put it in there, and it didn't take it out. They were they didn't work for me. Well, if it's already stripped out, you're in the, you're in extractor mode at that point. Okay, if you didn't use the RBRT fit bit first, you know they will take out a a damaged bolt to an extent. Okay, so know that that is the legit way to use them use them like a torx bit <clears throat> not an extractor if you need it. they have rbrt bit extractors which you can beat in with the for technology built into them understanding the tool is the is going to help you out a whole lot more and i will be more than happy to answer those questions down the bottom anyways guys i rambled on a little long it was great to all thank you for watching best subscribers in the world like i said I appreciate you guys. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. And remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.